Hello, my name is Sean Sweeney, and this is my weekly response number six uh, for History of Theater. Um, I am currently using Living Theater, a History of Theater ebook, as my reference, and uh, today I'm going to be presenting about realism and the effects uh, it had and the kind of genre of theater that it portrayed. So, realism uh, was depicted as a convenience to everyday life. And what I mean by that is that unlike uh, more of the larger-than-life uh, melodramas that uh, would have defined good and bad characters, um, realism ushered in a way of portraying um, regular people in, in the sense that uh, they would show these characters that had moral ambiguity in the sense that there wasn't a definite right or wrong and there wasn't necessarily a moral conclusion to what would be happening in these plays. So in realism in the late 19th century was actually quite controversial because people weren't used to seeing people talk about these taboo subjects like economic justice, the sexual double standard, unhappy marriages, venereal disease, and religious hypocrisy. Um, in fact, for that, most people who actually do realism thought that the stage should be a place where people could express um, everyday life problems and social and economic problems and this um, was immediately censored by the government and by other people because they felt as though it was um, hitting the string of strings of too, too many people's hearts and people were shocked by it and like anything that was shocking um, it was removed but <coughs> realism was um, a step towards integrating real life and um, integrating real problems and having characters talk in real time. And I know I'm going over time, but um, I'll, uh, I'll conclude on this, that realism um, <coughs> was the first step of people actually portraying um, a world where there wasn't just a set right and wrong, but there was a gray area introduced to theater, and that was really shocking to people, and um, it was really impressive, and it, it took a long time for it to develop. And that's my report. Thank you.